Hey Awkward Poners, it's me, the RTV, coming at you with another Legend of Zelda Minish Cap walkthrough, Journey to the Palace of Winds. And as you can see, we starting off in the Royal Valley, ending off our other side quest adventures. Ghosts, watch out. He's gonna lick you to death. Pretty disgusting, you don't want to be licked. Well, unless you do. Alright, clearly there's a hidden entrance to a cave. So just blow it up between the posts. By now it should be pretty obvious to you. And we've reached a great fairy. Awesome. These are always good. Always have something cool for us. Hell no. <laughs> no. no. We need to tell of our travels. Anyone? Anyone? That's right! We The first element we got was from the Deepwood Shrine. Tell me you, you, got, you didn't get that wrong. Shmi is not Link's grandfather's name in this game. Malari and the Seven Dwarves. No, it doesn't. Oh, you see there's a lot of no's, only one yes out of the five questions, but don't fret, you really, at most, would need six tries to get this right. Now we have a large quiver with more arrows than we know what to do with. Don't know how he's walking around with all this stuff. Watch out for the crows coming at you. But you don't have to worry too much, their uh, field of vision isn't that far. You have to just be in a specific uh, area right in front of them. It's pretty good uh, programming. And here's the Trilby Highlands. Nothing really down here, just an easy exit. I'm gonna continue on. Alright, this should be familiar, like an Ocarina of Time take the wrong turn and you end up in the beginning again. So, the, we're gonna go up, left, left, up, right, up. I'll go slowly, up, left, left, up, right, and then up. And BAM! The graveyard. Okay, so we're just gonna take that path that's right in front of us. Just a little walking around. I knew where I was going the whole time. Clearly. You want to go take a left, not end up back in the beginning again. There we go. Just keep going forward, and I wonder who's in there. Oh, hey, Dampy! Sounds familiar. Uh, I'm sure he appreciates us breaking those those pots that are all over the place. Oh, hell no. I know that bird did not just do that. And I guess it's super dark again. Even though it's only, I guess it's only bright around Dampy's house. Which just doesn't make sense, but whatever. And there he is. To get the key back, you're going to need to put on your speed boots, Pegasus boots. Ram the bird out of the tree. And the key. Bam. There it is. Now we just gotta go back and open the graveyard doors. Strangely enough, to open the door, we need to give the key back to Dampy so he can open the door for us. So it's not like he could walk over, open the door or anything. No, just give us the key to give back to him. Look familiar? He should. His brother is in uh, Hyrule Town. And he wants to fuse keystones. 
clearly I'm still having trouble with that. Don't ask me why, I just am. Yes! And we get to improve gambling by adding another chest to the mix. So definitely not a great fusion there, but every fusion counts. He's doing nothing. He's sitting in the same spot that he is all the time. Just to be clear, you can move that uh, center tombstone. You gotta push it from the other end. But I did not realize when I was playing this. It'll make this next part a whole lot easier. We're just gonna blow up the rocks here. Or break them. With our sword. I don't know why rocks wouldn't be blown up by an explosive, but whatever. <laughs> All right, you know what you gotta do. Make some copies. Always leave the real one as a line leader. Really just um, speed through. If you move the one, move the center tombstone, then you would have been able to get through easier. But really, it doesn't matter. As long as you're walk at a moderate pace, you'll make it. And that opens the door, and well, you know where that gets you to the royal crypt, and that'll get you to King Gustav. So burn these mummies. Or you could just fight him head on. I don't know. I feel like to go hardcore and stuff. I'm gonna pull out my trusty boomerang. Bam! Caught him. You're gonna take the one on the left side. Clearly. And then you might have guessed it. Bam! That's what'll happen. Just like in Ocarina of Time. Got some trickiness over here. Gotta get a few keys. Which isn't gonna be the easiest task. Gonna wait for the platforms to come back. Shouldn't be too difficult to get on over. Pretty easy thing. I just like to keep, uh, make sure that two holograms aren't beside each other. Because in this case, one of them's gonna have to be up against the wall. Well, the other is just uh, running into. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just talking stupid right now. <laughs> but, um, if you didn't get what I meant, I always want to have the real link on the end so he doesn't have to run into walls and then make the holograms disappear. But in the other case, that really, there's no real good way to do it, so I don't like to leave two holograms by themselves like children. That's what I meant to say. I know. Stupid moment for me, but... I can get past it. Flames are shooting laser balls at you. That's not cool at all. Hey, good thing we have all these hearts. <laughs> Alright. The Triforce! Yep, 
up, walk up to the tombstone, and bam, there he is, King Gustav. <laughs> Again, another Kinstone. They're really playing this Kinstone thing out. And it's a gold one. And, well, you should know where that goes. The waterfall in the upper right corner of the map. And here we are, back in Royal Valley. So, we're going to do the smart thing and fly on over. But, we'll make some stops along the way. No, we cannot unlock that adventure spring, not just yet. But we're back in Hyrule Town. In Tripoli Highlands. I need the money, so we're gonna finally gonna take this cash. <laughs> Alright, now that we filled our cash flow, we can move on and on and on and on. Next, we're gonna go check out the game shop. Do a little bit of gambling. tries to act all, oh no, don't gamble, don't, don't, I don't want customers, even though he opened up a shop, the sole purpose of making people gamble, he's a good actor, I'll give him that, but, yeah, whatever, we'll go on and play both levels, cash. I'm gonna cut your fro off. Just in case I haven't told you before, there is no ultimate prize. Do not keep doing this. Just, just demonstrating the, uh, the level 2. If the whole choosing the winner out of three chests doesn't really, you don't really grasp that idea. And bam! Look at that. It does pay off sometimes. Not a lot, but sometimes. And for all my adults out there, you you know what I'm talking about. I know Caponto knows what I'm talking about. Gotta do the usual check, make sure, you know, there's no one here that wants to fuse kinstones with me. Oh, look at that. The last sister is in need of a fin fusion. There we go, and I didn't fuck that one up this time. Got it on the first try. Like a beast. <laughs> Blue butterfly is always a good thing. I'd like to get lucky. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head on back there, back there. Which, since I don't believe there's a crest to fly to, we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Which, if, you know, you've done it once, then you should be able to do it again. Up, left, left, up, right, up. And here we are. Swim faster, yeah! Swim faster, run faster. They've built a whole new link. Hi. 
Alright, there you go. You can push the tombstone out of the way. And... Another heart piece. Yeah, yeah. This one doesn't require four people, thank you. Awesome. We're at 15. ta down. So you know what this means, that you can, of course, move the one on the other side. And I don't know, I was wrong, I guess you moved from the front, don't know why it didn't work before, whatever. Because I was wrong again, because that was the only one you could move. Blah, blah, blah. Blah blah. <laughs> All right, let's uh keep moving. You remember, you gotta cut through the Hyrule field to get to uh, the bridge with a golden kinstone piece. Bam! We're gonna enter into the mysterious cave, which is also dark, realistically, of course. I mean, I'd, you know, I'd be okay with less realism, just, you know, walk through the light. That's just me. Clearly our laser beam doesn't work against him, which is a terrible, terrible waste of a laser beam. Because a laser beam that doesn't kill is a wasted laser beam. Am I right? Or am I right? You know what that means? Hidden cave, of course, or hidden entrance. You know, we're already in a cave. Cave in a cave in a cave. More mysterious cells. Sweet. Not really. Spoiler alert. Nothing. You don't have to worry about that block right now. You don't worry about the block in the front. You want to go kill? You want to go kill those things first? Because as you guess, you need to move those blocks with holograms, and you can't do that with those little mechanical devices running around. link against the wall, bam. You'll be able to move those three blocks over um, when we come back when you want to re-enter. Just move the one out the way, move the one against the wall, move the one after the one after that, bam, there you go. And that's how you do that. Demonstrate it for you, and we can head back out. Treasure! More mysterious shells! I hope you've been spending yours, otherwise, it's been a waste of a lot of shells. Continue on. Clearly not a big deal of a detour. Feel free to skip it if you don't need the shells.
I am a little sad. I uh, do not have my full hearts, and can I use my laser beam? Sad day for the RTV. Jam in the middle of the road. Clearly, it's a shield eater, money eater, whatever. Take out your shovel and bam, dig out yourself some treasure. Not shovel. Your claws. I'm just gonna skip ahead. There's a lot of running around before that. Yeah, I'll just climb up. And there you go, another wind crest. Yeah, no heart. Sends me. Boom. We don't have to ever make that journey again if you don't want to. Very inconspicuous wall right there. And we have full hearts. Boom. With the laser beams, even better than the sword boomerang combo. More chests, so it's money. More mysterious shells. <laughs> Again, another detour you do not have to make if you are not doing the shells, uh, mysterious shells collectible journey side quest. Start off upstairs. And there goes the laser beam again. Sad face. Doesn't even have the decency to give me a heart when he dies. There we go, a fairy, even though we really didn't need it. I personally thought it was worth it. And a hundred rupees. Build my cash flow up again. Oh, that's the exit. If you didn't guess, the other staircase uh, was just the other staircase from the first floor. Yep, that's a big old Goron. Bigger than usual. Just chillin'. Yep, just leads down to the other stairs. And you see a red little pe gem piece. I was gonna say it's gonna be a death, a money eater, death eater Harry Potter. But there is one. First one's just to throw you off, try to make it fool you. Pretty clever, I'd say. We're just gonna end there. Remember to join me next time for the continuation of the journey to the Palace of Winds, and remember to follow us at awkwardponers.com, on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash awkwardponers, at awkwardponers on Twitter, and the Rooster Teeth page, Red vs. Blue Season 9, and go to our contact page at awkwardponers.com slash contact us and tell us everything you think about the site and any suggestions you have at all. We love you. See you later. This is the RTV, and I'm out.